Hey everyone, let's talk about a few simple techniques that you can do to improve your tube delivery when it comes to use of the hyperangulated blade. I think this is a place where a lot of people get hung up on, no pun intended, uh, because uh, they get this great view and then they think tube delivery is going to be easy, but what they don't really understand is that there's some critical airway geometry and spatial relationships that you need to know to be able to deliver the tube smoothly, and we're going to cover them here. So let's get started. First of all, I think the most common problem and the most pro common difficulty that people have is that they just insert the blade too deep and they're too close to the glottic opening. They get this great view of the glottis, it fills the screen, but then they try to deliver that tube and they don't have enough of a pathway, there's not enough room, and then when it arrives it's kind of banging up against the anterior tracheal rings. And that's really just an alignment problem and it's an easy fix. Unfortunately, what most people do is they double down on this problem and they rotate the handle back towards them and this over-rotated position just makes that angle even worse as you can see here. So let's talk about the three easy ways that you can solve this problem. The first, just simply pull the blade back. Don't get too close. Don't get underneath the epiglottis if you don't have to. Seat yourself in the vollecula, pull back a little bit, and that does a couple of things. First, it gives you more of a glide path to the trachea. It gives you more room to deliver the tube. And second of all, it decreases the uh, angle and aligns more with the tracheal axis. The second, simply add a little elevation. I think with hyperangulated, with hyperangulated blades, we often think, oh, look at that great view. I don't need to align the axis of the, the tracheal axis. Uh, and so it, the blade sort of sits in the posterior oropharynx, but a simple lift upwards elevating uh, will align that axis even better. And finally, just tilting that handle forward instead of pulling it back. I know the inclination is to rotate back to try to get this better view, but with a hyperangulated blade, tilting that handle forward away from you is going to help align your axis uh, with the trachea even better, and that's going to even smooth out tube delivery more. Uh, so, there you have it. It's really all about alignment with the tracheal axis. Once you get that great view, you need to make sure that you're understanding that uh, where you place the blade uh, is going to have a huge impact on tube delivery. So, those are the three points. If you want more on this topic, just go ahead to our, uh, our website, theprotectedairway.com, and find the poster that's behind me here, uh, and you'll be able to dive into even more great content about hyperangulated video laryngoscopes.